hello everybody. My name is Shane Darwin. Um, I'm a sculptor and photographer based in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and um, trying to uh, to be a part of the uh, the creative distancing conversation where we um, come up with some fun ways to spend our our time in um, in self isolation and um, in quarantine during the, uh, the days of the coronavirus. Um, so what I've done is, is gather a bunch of uh, things that you might find in your, your home, your kitchen, your, your garage, um, in your mom or dad's workshop, um, and kind of gathered them here in my studio. Um, and we're gonna play around. We're gonna make some, um, some quick, simple, sort of ephemeral sculptures that you can put on your mantle or your bedside table and, um, and hopefully have a good time in the process. Um, so I gathered some like really simple sort of like kind of packing materials that you might get in your, your Amazon box, um, some styrofoam, some, um, some packaging that might be behind, um, you know, the thermometer that you just ordered online, um, you know, the sippy cup that you got from the gas station the last time you were allowed to leave your home, um, you know. The rind from your orange, you know, you got to stay uh, stay up on your vitamin C. Um, just some colored poster board scraps, you know, a straw, uh, a cool shaped rock. Um, let's see, last year's calendar that we're not using anymore. Um, so these are some of the supplies that I gather just to sort of have as as materials, um, and then for for. Connecting them together, I gathered, um, you know, Elmer's glue, some tape, some blue painter's tape. Um, you could have rubber bands, um, toothpicks, you know, really anything to stick the objects together. Um, we're going to kind of do like a stacking found object sculpture, sort of combining um, a rock cairn that you might see along a hiking trail. With, uh, with, with sort of the tradition of, of found object sculpture. So we're gonna create a base for our sculpture, and I took a couple pieces of cardboard and cut them to a similar size, and we're gonna glue them together just to get a, a slightly thicker base so that we can attach our sculpture to, to the base so that it can stand up easy. We have some Elmer's glue. Just gonna put a little bit on there. Have just like a really simple, cheap brush. So we're gonna brush around some glue on here. going to put the other piece on top of it and squish it down. So then I think it'd be cool to, to maybe have our base be this this kind of bright orange or bright uh, bright green rather poster board color. So now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on top of the cardboard. Again, kind of spread the glue around. You know, I'm being quick and messy, but at home you can, you know, you can put some um, some newspaper, old newspaper, on your kitchen table, and uh, go to town, set up your workspace. So now I'm going to put this onto the poster board. nice to have a rag or something like that sort of an old yogurt container with some water in it to keep things clean so you know you can use some scissors to cut off the excess or if you have a 
an X-Acto blade, you can do that. You can just kind of use the edge of the cardboard as a, as a guide to trim that. Okay, so now we have our, <clears throat> our fluorescent green sculpture base, you know, set a solid foundation for greatness. Then for, um, to add a different texture, let's put on a piece of, uh, take a piece of foam, and I want this to be a little smaller. So I'm going to cut it down, cut it into a shape if you want, or rip it by hand. So again, I'm going to use a little bit of this glue. Brush it around. Just gonna kind of set it on there off center a little bit you know making um, good art is, is a lot about sort of thinking about composition and spacing um, it's this kind of um, you know it's this balancing act so I mean you could put this right in the center but I chose to kind of put it off to the side So now, you know, we're just building up. We're, we're sort of building a stacking kind of sculpture of sorts. So let's see, does that go there? That's kind of cool looking. But what I might want to do first is I'm going to take a piece of this calendar page and I'm going to cut it out and attach it to the cup. Remember, this is last year's calendar, no big deal. Let's see. That's kind of cool, right? Sort of wrapped around. Let's just use a rubber band. Let's just make it simple. Whoops. That's an old, brittle rubber band. Rubber band up here. Look at that. Right? So you could glue it if you want, or you could take a, you could take a toothpick. And you could put the toothpick through the cup, into the foam, into the cardboard. Careful not to uh, puncture yourself with it. Push it down, do it on the other side maybe, on the back side. You know, and if you can, you can take your scissors and cut that off. So now your cup is securely attached. Let's see, what next? You want to stack that on top? Maybe that. <laughs> you know, you can just really play around and have fun. I think I'm going to take another piece of foam. see here. So what you could do is you could sort of trace the outline of that cup and then take your scissors and try to cut your foam or whatever you're using. I'm going to use the X-Acto blade again. Just cut it away. Break it off. So maybe now it just kind of pressure fits 
right over the top of that. Take a little bit more away. You know, if you have a, um, an emery board for filing your nails or a scrap piece of sandpaper, you know, that would be good. You know, we're just kind of playing around with really simple solutions to attach different things together. So now we start to have this kind of weird stacking sort of thing, you know? Who knows what it is? And I found this on a walk the other day. This piece of uh, coat hanger. I kind of like the way that just sort of hangs out there. And then this is from a a birthday party that I was at the other day. It's a really cool iridescent uh, plastic butter knife. You know, you never know when these things are going to come in handy. Who now? You know, that could, could use the rubber band to hold that into place, right? Let's see, and so now you have this one piece on this other side, and what if we want to start to stack something up over here and build a relationship between the two parts? You know, sculpture is all about relationships between form, space, color. We have some glue just oozing out, but that's okay. Now let's stick a toothpick in the top. stick our straw over that. And so now you have this portal, this cool passage. Imagine yourself as like a little, little person down here walking through, you know? And so this, the photo on the cup gives you sort of some sense of scale that's, that's a bit surreal or strange. Um, you know, so you could really play around endlessly with this kind of a, uh, these kinds of really basic uh, materials um, and, uh, you know, tools as simple as scissors, some Elmer's glue, some rubber bands, some, uh, some toothpicks, um, you know, the, the sky is the limit, as they say. Um, so that's it for me. Um, again, my name is Shane Darwin. Um, I'm a sculptor based in Tulsa. and. Um, you know, we're all in this together. Um, I know we're gonna get through it. Um, and uh, we just have to help each other along and, and try, to see the, uh, try to see the positive aspects um, of this time that we get to, um, to connect with ourselves and our families and our friends, even if through the internet um, or Skype or whatever. So, so stay, stay healthy, stay safe, stay positive. And um, make some sculptures. <laughs>